Hello everyone! Welcome to the first day of our penguin painting. So today we're going to work on the background using some tempera cake watercolors. Now these are similar to watercolors but they're a little different because they uh, have a little bit of a thicker consistency and the way they work they work very similar to watercolor in that when you wet it, wet the brush, and then you can go across. Now you can make different kind of wavy lines if you want. You can make your lines straight. But the one thing you want to know about these colors is they can mix with each other if you wash out your brush completely. So remember, Mr. Paintbrush does like to have his hair nice and clean before he uses the next color. This also shows respect for our other students in the class because then they will not have ruined paints. So if I were, didn't clean my brush and went from the red to the orange, what do you think might happen? Let's think about that for a minute. I think what would happen is there would be red in the orange and then the orange wouldn't be as orange anymore. So if I wanted to use red and orange, which are both warm colors for the top, and then maybe the red actually looks almost pink. I kind of like that. Maybe I'm going to pick that one again. And the way to make it really look pink is if I were to add some white to it or just plain water. Water, let's just see what happens when you just add water to it. It drags it down. Look at that. And it does make like a pink. That's pretty. I kind of like that. Maybe I'll add some yellow to it next. There we go. And I can make my lines wavy. I wanna cover the whole paper. So I'm just basically gonna be going from side to side. You need to think about the best way to cover your entire paper because you really don't want to have any kind of plainness about the background. We're gonna be making our penguin right on top. How about some green next? I think green would be nice. I haven't used green yet. And when you hit the very end of it, look what happens. You kind of blend and mix together nicely, which is definitely a bonus. Green. Let me go across every spot and then maybe some blue and we're gonna let this dry don't forget to put your name on the back okay so super important get your name on the back I'm actually gonna leave the bottom white the reason I'm going to leave it white is because that's going to be like an iceberg where he's going to sit on, he's going to stand on that area right there. So I don't necessarily, or I could go across, it doesn't matter. If you don't want to do the very bottom, you can just leave it white if you want. I'm going to leave mine white. So the other thing that you needed to do before you even started painting is what? Write your name on the back. Use a crayon and pencil, anything. Um, make sure you have your class code on there as well. All right, have a good day, thanks.